In this video, we'll be analyzing the acceleration, force, and velocity of a bolt shot from a crossbow, as well as the bolt's motion in hitting four standard 30 centimeter large pop bottles. Using the 24 inch bolt as a reference point, the change of position was used to calculate the change in velocity, acceleration, and force. Conversion of potential energy to kinetic energy leads to an increase in the velocity as shown in the velocity versus time graph as a constant positive slope until the bolt is no longer in contact with the string and reaches its final velocity of 78.23 meters per second. At that point, the acceleration stops increasing and the bolt enters a period of constant velocity because there is no longer a tension force acting upon the system. Since the mass remains constant, the acceleration versus exposition graph is equivalent to force versus the exposition using Newton's second law. The area under the acceleration versus position graph represents the work done on the bolt by the string of the crossbow, using the initial 0 meters per second and final velocity 78.32 meters per second and a bolt mass of 30.78 grams, work done on the system was calculated to be 94.19 joules. The ideal kinetic energy would be 112.33 joules with a final velocity of 85.4 meters per second. The efficiency of the bow's ability to completely convert potential to kinetic energy in the video was 83.9%. Work is equivalent to the total kinetic energy, which was equal to 94.19 joules. According to the area under the graph multiplied by the mass of the bolt, the work done on the system was 88.31 joules, a 5.88 joule difference. Using the standard 30 cm height of 2 liter pop bottles as a reference, the velocity of the bolt was measured at 17 interval points. The green markers outline the bolt's position as it moves towards the pop bottle at a constant velocity according to Newton's first law of motion. The bolt's final velocity just before hitting the first pop bottle is 75.96 meters per second, which is only 2.91% slower than the initial velocity of 78.23 meters per second, indicating that forces such as drag had a negligible reducing force on the bolt during flight. The velocity versus time graph indicates that the bolt is traveling at a constant velocity until it pierces the first bottle, upon which it drastically decreases in velocity. It then maintains a reduced constant velocity until it pierces the second bottle, and so on. This is evident by looking at the graph where the velocity alternates between periods of decreasing velocity, where it has a negative slope, and periods of constant velocity, indicated by a horizontal slope. The bolt's final velocity after exiting the fourth pop bottle is 2.38 meters per second, which is drastically slower than the initial velocity of 75.96 meters per second. The drastic decrease in acceleration by the bolt indicates that the bolt drastically loses velocity every time it exits a bottle. 